Uh, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Panama City. I'm Bob. Um, this morning, it's Sunday, July 30th. So we got one more day, plus, well, we got two days. Today and tomorrow for red snapper season for the summer. Um, I was actually headed offshore and went out there probably half a mile or so. The waves were running about two to three feet and broken. So um, decided that I um, wasn't going to go offshore this morning. Went offshore yesterday and Friday. Um, but we'll fish inshore today for a while, see what we can catch. Um, you know, if nothing else, we'll see if we can catch some red snapper. Maybe go see if we can catch some flounder or, I don't know, we're just going to go fishing. Um, looks like a beautiful morning, other than the wind offshore has got the, the waves kind of churned up. It ain't pretty. So we'll, we'll get up here on our first spot and see what we can catch. I do have some live pinfish. I've got squid. I've got, they're not live, they're frozen. I've got frozen cigar minnows. Um, I think I got plenty of bait. So, um, if we don't catch anything, it won't be because we lack bait. And I do love fishing these inshore spots, um, for red snapper especially. But um, we can also catch lanes and mangroves and stuff like that. I don't target them specifically. But um, we do catch them. And I'm seeing a lot of fish down there on the, um, on the bottom. We're in about 30 feet of water. But they're not piled up. They're just kind of scattered out. One here and one there. So we'll do some chumming, see if we can get them to come to the boat. See if we can catch them. Right now the wind's kind of out of the north, maybe northwest. Offshore it was almost due west, so it's probably the same inshore. It's just the way the land's got it broke up. We have an outgoing tide, so I don't know. The boat may end up spinning all the way around. Who knows? <clears throat> Lane snapper are here. That's a good keeper right there. I don't need any fish. I can keep a red snapper if I caught a keeper, but Red snapper. Sure, he's a keeper, but we'll see. He's 15 and three quarters, so not quite a keeper. Still a nice fish. A real nice lane snapper. Lanes are probably the prettiest snapper we've got. They just don't get real big. So 
I'm having a real nice morning snack. If I had kids out here, that's what we would be targeting would be these smaller. A smaller fish. Um, you know, get you a few dozen shrimp and small hooks and small weights. And I mean, you can find them just the same way that I find them. This is a little sea brim, or at least that's what I call them. I don't know what they actually are, um, but they're um, they're pretty good to eat. Um, I don't keep them this small, but you know, if my wife tells me that she wants to make tacos and red snappers out of season, I don't mind catching these and take them home for tacos. If you know what those actually are, let me know in the comments. I don't know. I've taken pictures of it with, um, I've got an app that you can identify fish and stuff like that with it. And it gives me, I don't know, some Southeast Asian something or other. I don't think we have them here. They don't trade me. I don't know there's treasures here. And that one would be a keeper. I promise you, he's over 15. They only have to be 15 to keep them, but you got to be sure that they're over 15. The season doesn't open for them until Tuesday. Another shark. And they are pretty too. And they'll put up a pretty good fight. Yeah, 
That one's 30 inches. Real nice fish. Little shark. Remember, Atlantic shark moves, and it looks like he's got it swallowed. He does. He's about the same size as that last one. Well, that seems to be all that's here. <laughs> Everything I'm catching is a shark. <laughs> well, I see you um, recording. Have you got a uh, YouTube channel too? Is that Gary what? Gary's Fishtail. I'll have to look you up. So Gary's fish tails was fishing right behind me and he just caught one on a, a white bucktail, 26 inch red snapper. So uh, I'd like to check out his channel, Gary's fish tails. And he's 15 inches, so it's still not big enough. But we'll keep trying. And I'm sitting basically almost on top of the pipeline right here. Um, I just got that one hung up in the pipeline. Mm-hmm, will be big enough. Here's another one of those that's about 15. But if there's 15, there'll be 20. Alright, so that silly porpoise which is sitting here. Um, just swimming around the back end of the boat. I don't even have any bait out. He's just swimming around the back end of the boat. <clears throat> I'm not going to drop bait down there because if I catch something, he'll steal it. Right, I'm going to call it a day. It um, hasn't been a, a bad day. Uh, we caught a bunch of fish, tried to go offshore. Um, waves were just too bad. I hear thunder over here, so somebody's probably going to get some rain. We need it, but I don't know that we'll get it. But um, we caught um, red snapper, we caught lane snapper, 
caught a few sharks, um, some rubies, and we caught some fish. Nothing to take home. Of course, the only thing that I would have taken home would have been red snapper. We had several that were between 15 and 16 inches. But um, I've got plenty of fish in the freezer. It's not like I need them. When we get a fall season, we'll be able to do it again in October and November. But um, I'm glad y'all joined me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe. And then ring the bell if you want to get notified when I release new videos. But um, we will see you next weekend. Um, we'll be after trigger fish next weekend. We did catch a big trigger today, too. But um, next weekend, we'll be able to keep them. So um, we'll be after a keeper trigger next weekend. Hopefully, we'll be able to go offshore. I love going out there and just I mean, stack them like cordwood. But um, we will see you next week.